Hi, I'm Amy Kite with Keller Williams Infinity, and we're asked today, what is driving this real estate market and when is it going to end? Well, if we look at the last two years, in April of 2019, there were over 47,000 properties for sale in the MLS. In April of 2020, there were over 40,000 properties for sale in the entire MLS. And at the end of April of 2021, there were under 20,000 properties for sale in the MLS. Inventory is down over 50% in one year. Understand that this market is being driven by a lack of inventory for these buyers. And so when you have a lack of inventory, it's supply and demand. Lack of inventory, prices go up, right? We saw it happen with toilet paper in the middle of the pandemic. All these things where the prices tended to go up because there was an inventory, right? So understand housing is the same way. Now, when is this going to change? That's a good question. If I had a crystal ball, I probably wouldn't be here. But one thing that we are being warned about is the fourth quarter. As the moratorium changes um, for the foreclosures and the evictions, we will be seeing inventory hit the market. All we need to do is have this inventory expand, not have as many buyers fighting over the same house, right? So now if we, the inventory doubles, then there'll be three or four months worth of inventory in, instead of right now where there's one. So understand that as inventory expands, when these foreclosures and the evictions start happening, um, you're gonna see the market change. And so um, if you can hang in there, hang in there. If you are a seller, it is the best time right now for you to sell and do not expect that this is going to last forever. Nothing ever does. If you have any questions or if there's any way we can help you, please let us know. Thank you.